Hello everybody, Andy here again. Well yesterday I put up a video it's called Digital Memory Bank all about putting our videos, our ideas, our bits and pieces of our life onto the video, onto the internet and using it as like a memory bank, so that, like we used to use before, photograph albums and boxes under the bed or in the cupboard or something. We've now got this tool called the internet which we can use for that sort of same purpose so that other people can see that rather than stuff being hidden somewhere and not, not not being seen by anyone until you've gone and people start rummaging around in all your stuff. Um, that inspired some great comments on the particular video. And John Reagan number one happened to make a comment which I re replied to. And it made me think about a different aspect of this. He then said, well, if you make a vlog about that, <laughs> then I'm going to respond to it. Because I said, well, maybe this is another vlog topic. Well, you know, a challenge like that and another comment uh, that's inspired me, I had to take up the challenge. So this particular video is something that I have touched on in a way before. But what I was talking about was how people don't know what I do here. Um, I've been to a few funerals recently. Uh, I've mentioned those as well. And I've found out things about people that I didn't know about. People that I may be the best of friends with, but thought I knew fairly well at work or whatever. And you find that completely different sides to their character that you never knew about before. And I have a feeling, well I know, that exactly the same sort of thing would happen if that was ever to happen to me. Um, we are all on the internet, just so many people now are on the internet. It's That's not unusual in its own way. We do Facebook and, and you know, we might do MSN or MySpace and that type of thing. Um, increasingly people are doing Twitter and things like that as well. But the YouTube thing, the vlogging thing, even the video making thing, um, is something that's a bit different. We've all had that conversation probably with people at work or family members. Uh, why do you want to do this? What on earth would you want to sit in front of a camera and talk about things like this? And, and what do you get out of it? Blah, blah, blah. People don't understand it. But even if they don't watch, they might still, even if they do watch, let's say, they might not understand the extent to watch your online identity means to you. Um, in the course of the comment to John, I think, well actually, I think it might have been John that said that he's proud of what he does. I'm proud of what I do here as well. I take a lot of pride in what I do on here. I'm very proud of the videos that I've put up here and I expect everybody else is pretty much the same and we have a right to do to be proud of our, our videos and our presence is something, which is why we protect it so much and maybe why we don't talk about it to certain people because we feel that they might not understand it. And there's nothing worse than trying to try and explain something to people when either they're not interested or you know that they're just never going to get it. You know, we have that with relatives and especially, not always, but especially sort of older people who don't really understand the internet maybe. It's hard to get them to understand. I have that job with my family, not so, with my wife. She, she doesn't obviously knows how much this has affected my life uh, and how it's changed my life in lots of ways. But even so, it still surprises her when I can say, like early this morning, looking at, on, on my phone, looking at Facebook messages or uh, messages there, and I was corresponding with someone I know over in the Philippines, and you know, just sitting there by messages, that type of, and that's pretty mind blowing when you think about it. That sort of thing does get home. But if, hopefully it won't happen, but if that funeral came along of mine, and the people went there and they found out about this sort of side of me. They think, bloody hell, you know, <laughs> why on earth did he do that? Or I never knew that about him. Now, is that a good thing? A, this brings out a different side to my character that lots of other people don't know. Maybe it's something that I don't advertise. I said, I'm not embarrassed by it, I'm proud of it. But even if you're proud of something, it's not always that easy to broach that subject with somebody, mainly because of the lack of understanding of what we are doing here. People always think of YouTube for completely the wrong reasons. People knock down Twitter because they don't understand it or they're unwilling to try and understand. Even Facebook doesn't get a very good press these days, although increasingly more and more of us are using it. I wonder how many other people keep their online identities a, a bit of a secret. So maybe I should actually advertise this more. I tend to let people find me, if, if you like. Even on Facebook, I tend not to invite people. I let them find me. Um, but the YouTube thing is something that, that's a bit different. It's, it shows a completely different side of my character to most other people are used to. A lot of people who have found me, uh, local people, etc., 
who I've then met from whatever reason, and you find out they say, oh, I've watched, I've watched a few of your videos because they've seen me on Twitter or something like this. Um, never done YouTube in this type of way before. And it's surprising, the comments that you get, it's very gratifying to hear some of the things. You always ask those questions, how did you find me? But also, what did you think of the videos? Because you think, oh, I wonder what they're going to make of this type of thing. Generally, very, very good. So we, we shouldn't probably worry about it. If someone knocks you down, if someone knocks you back and um, has a go at you about it and makes disparaging remarks or stupid comments, then they're not the people whose comments, whose feedback you're really going to value in the first place, anybody. Anyway, should I say. Um, but it's those people who say, well, actually, I, I quite like that video. That's good. I like the way you do that. Maybe it inspires them to do it as well. They know that somebody else in their town does this type of thing. I don't know of anybody else where I live that does this sort of vlogging thing. Yes, I know of other people who make videos, but I don't know of any other vloggers. Maybe we can inspire people. So that's the thought for you, John. <laughs> it's now over to you for whatever you wanted to say about this. But are you the same? You know, if, if the worst came to the worst, would people discover something completely different about you, something that they never would have understood or, or certainly didn't know the extent to your to know your involvement in a site like YouTube or even your your online life? As I said, online life now is, is something that happens to most of us. I think the vast majority of people now are getting online. But this, I do feel, is something that little bit different that shows a different side to your character. And I know for a fact that a lot of people that I know either at work or even people that I consider to be reasonably good friends would be quite shocked if they found out and saw what I was doing here. What their reaction would be after that about what they thought about the content, should we say, is a different matter altogether. And as it happens, I'm probably going to be meeting some people this Thursday who now probably know about my videos through Facebook, who I've sort of attacked, uh, contacted, should we say, uh, through Facebook, who I might see. It'd be interesting to find out if they've actually followed any of their links to YouTube and to the videos and think, oh, I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. <laughs> so maybe that'll be another vlog topic, topic coming up at the end of the week. There's always a little bit of trepidation as to what they're going to say or what, what people might say when they, that person says, oh, I've seen them with your, some of your videos. I always go, hmm, yeah, <laughs> and wait for whatever they might have to say. But as I said before, generally it's only good stuff. So over to you, John. Love to hear what you've got to say about this. The rest of you, I'll just speak to you again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.